Right now in federal court, former President Trump's lawyers are trying to exclude a key piece of evidence, the classified documents found during the raid of his Mar-a-Lago residence. Hours ago, we got new photos of those documents pictured alongside items the FBI says they were found with. In one photo, two stacks of paper marked top secret twice in bright orange lettering had been in a box with a book and what appears to be a red pillow. In another, at least three crumpled, unfolded polo shirts were stored in the same container as papers marked confidential. More shirts can be spotted in this row of teetering boxes, housing documents. And there are a variety of items, newspapers, clothes, and instrument case in these images of papers that appear to have spilled out onto the floor. NBC's Ken Delanian is reporting from court in Fort Pierce, Florida. I'm also joined by Glenn Kirshner, former federal prosecutor and an MSNBC legal analyst. Okay, Ken, what's the argument we expect the defense to make today? Well, first, Chris, you know, there are so many pretrial motions and hearings, they're starting to bump into each other. So the photos you showed are actually from a motion that Jack Smith filed last night that's going to be the subject potentially of a different hearing down the line on an argument by the defense that the FBI essentially messed up the evidence to such an extent that the case should be thrown out. And the purpose of those photos was to show that the way Donald Trump stored those highly classified documents containing some of the nation's most sensitive secrets was so chaotic and so messy that his argument is ridiculous. And uh, Jack Smith's office filed an impassioned brief overnight making that case. Today in court, and Jack Smith is there, Donald Trump is not, uh, they're fighting a different set of motions by the defense where the defense is arguing that the warrant wasn't properly constructed, essentially that the, the, defense, uh, the Justice Department was not fully candid with the magistrate judge and that therefore the evidence should be tossed. And then the most, the more consequential argument, I think, is their, their effort to get um, removed from the case the very crucial notes that were taken uh, based on a, a memorandum recorded by Donald Trump's lawyer, Evan Corcoran, obtained by Jack Smith under what's known as the crime fraud exception to attorney-client privilege. A federal judge in Washington <laughs> ruled that this evidence was okay, but now the defense is trying to get Judge Eileen Cannon to exclude it on the grounds that it should have been protected by attorney-client privilege. And this is some of the most important evidence in the case, Chris, with clear evidence of obstruction of justice, including a, uh, Evan Corcoran saying that Donald Trump made a plucking motion as if to suggest he was removing documents that were under subpoena by the Justice Department.